looking to throw and dropped on the very first play of the game. Tom Savage, the quarterback. And again, it is a huge stop by that Browns defense. This time, it is Danny Equale for Tom Savage and this Lions offense. Lawrence again breaking free. This time, the pass is complete. Lawrence got to the quarterback, but may have been hold on, held on his way there, Tim. He's unblockable. Down six. Gilbert with time, and he completes it for a Browns first down, Richard Higgins. I know talking with Freddie yesterday, he, he lights up when he's talking about Braxton Miller, and why not? That one almost picked off, intended for Hyman again, so three straight passes in the direction of Hyman, all three incomplete. This is important business that we're looking at today. It is, and it's, a, it's a, an emotional night for a lot of guys. They're out here playing for their football lives, and they all want to continue to keep playing this game that they love so much, and tonight's a great opportunity to keep that going. Well, terrific catch right there. Wants to throw. Pocket collapses, and down goes Savage. So again, that Browns pass rush collapsing the pocket. The type of place that, as Tim could attest to, people, young, young receivers will remember that in their dreams for decades to come. And, and not to kill the young man, because he's, he's had a heck of a camp. And the give is to Hilliard, who finds a hole up the left side, now cuts it back, takes it down inside the 20-yard line for the biggest play of the night for either team. They're able to run the ball, run the ball uh, with Nick Chubb as well, so I, I expect the Browns to be even better in that area. Gilbert with time wanted Willies in the end zone, but there was some miscommunication there. He broke off the route. Good hold, and it is good. So the Browns jump on the scoreboard first. So second down five now for Gilbert. They'll try to move it on the ground, and there's some room up the left side for Dontrell Hilliard, who takes it up for a first down and finally out of bounds. Back in the pass, I think, really helps you be able to pick up a playbook and understand what's going on pretty quick. Gilbert hurries his throw. That is actually caught by Vaughn Call <laughs> for the completion. The ball was tipped. It was hanging in the air for long enough. Gillen isn't punning with his feet at the back line. Time for Gilbert has his man. It's Miller who just who <laughs> loves to make that first guy look silly. Another flag down. Holding offense number 77. The foul occurred in the end zone, resulted in a safety. Two points, Detroit. When you look at the weapons they have offensively, it may not take many points for the Browns to get into the win column on Sundays. Pass is completed, and the receiver makes the first man miss. Probably has the inside track, although David Blau has played very well this preseason. That time it's caught, and it is good for Ish because we've seen him drop a couple Ish Hyman. With it after the, after the catch, keeps this drive alive. Gilbert gets the club quickly to the line. This time it's complete to Derek Willies, who breaks a tackle and has room up the left side. Finally tackled at the 32-yard line. The hit after the throw, but delivered a strike and now has the Browns pushing field goal range. Gilbert again to Willies, who quickly and alertly runs out of bounds. Gilbert in the gun. Trips up top. Willies with time. Throws caught. Touchdown, Browns. Dontrell Hilliard finds the end zone for the game's first touchdown. And that, Tim, was a nice-looking drive. Those girls from year one, year two. Was, was that Hal Mummy? That was Hal Mummy, yeah. Oh, Mike Leach. Yeah. yeah, Mike, there you yeah. go. That's, that was a great offense. It was. It was a great offense. You know, it's really spread throughout college football now. And so many teams are running. Going to Purdue, Drew Brees has always been his guy. And as an undersized quarterback, he's always looked at Drew to sort of show him the way. That one is batted and intercepted by that Lions defense. Looked like the ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Alston coming up with the interception. Let's see what happened. Kind of snuck in under the radar that has really impressed you this camp. I mean, you know what? There's, there's a lot of young, like, uh, 
Third down and five for Johnson and the Lions. Heavy pass rush coming. Johnson sneaks out of the backfield and squirms forward for enough yardage to move the chains. It's a Lions first down. You know, before he hurt his knee at Auburn, I mean, he was a spectacular football player. And he kind of got lost in the cracks there. And, you know, we acquired him on a trade last year. Folks are going to say, how did John get him for a seventh round pick? Because he's just really performed well here, even in practice, going against. He loves the game of football. He's yeah. passionate. I mean, and once he walks out on those lines, he is so competitive. I mean, it's just fun to watch him. Johnson on the keeper takes it in for the Lions first touchdown after the pass interference call better than the players that the Browns kept. Yeah, not, it's going to be a few sleepless nights for the Browns front office trying to make all these decisions and go through all that as, as you mentioned, Jay. Lyle's deep throw for Derek Willies is intercepted by Jamar Summers. Nine days from now, and the Browns will welcome Tennessee to first energy. That run play sniffed out early. A gain of maybe a yard on the play. Turning kicker and punter. I think Seibert has really performed well. I, I think he's starting to really come into his own and starting to feel comfortable out there uh, on the field. And, and he just, you know, last week against Tampa, we're going four for four and get an opportunity to play the whole game. I think he really settled in. Loud to throw all kinds of time. And completes it again to Outlet, who's Tyler lost his fight with cancer three days later. Just such a sad story. You can still tell that David is uh, emotional about it still to this day. And it, it really hit those guys hard. And they considered him a part of their football team. He was a captain, and, and they really embraced him. Johnson now second and 10 for the Lions. And that run is good for a Lions first down. It's done really well in pass protection for the Browns this preseason. Johnson's throw caught and dropped down. A little bit of an injury uh, hamstring. Uh, for him to get those extra reps basically as the number two, I think that's when he really kind of solidified himself uh, to potentially make this team. Now, it's not a given that he makes it. You know how many backs they're going to keep and how they're going to kind of shake that thing out. Get him the football, get in the right spots, and the run after the catch is incredible. Yeah, his, his ability to, to find himself open in that slot area to get that year. Yeah, there's Hyman. Two there's Hyman. There he's 16. Back. That's, yeah. a, that's a nice catch, too, by yeah. I can think about your, your task at hand. I hope for the young man's sake that he keeps keeps making these plays in the second half. This could be Elsko. Get in there. Gray inside Keep the 10 feet. down to the five yard line. Your feet. <laughs> missed a touchdown catch last week. Couldn't get that second foot in. Gray with the carry around the left side. Big guy hits the corner and takes it in for the score. Go Kings. What was so impressive about that run is that the interior of our offensive line got absolutely destroyed. And they have impeccable sense of timing. And you can see they've coached that into David Blau. That's a good chance to talk about Blau's story about Baker Mayfield. More about Baker Mayfield. We, we find that's that's the kind of guy yeah, he is. Kind of guy he is. He really is that great guy. teammate. And you know, I think I, in, in quarterbacks know this better than anybody. Just, Just like the, the Saints, like, like like in the Saints and Rams playoff game that we're probably nice not going to see a lot of them overturn. Beautiful, throw. beautiful throw on the run. We probably won't see a lot of them overturn early in the year. That was the first legitimate offer he had. And he said, "I'm good. I want to play where Drew Brees played." Oh, he's been well versed in, in terms of reading defenses for a, a rookie quarterback. Again, back to back plays, a, a, a perfect throws, perfect reads. Give him another opportunity in game conditions to try to put one through. You know, Jay, that's a, a great point, a, a compliment to uh, our general, John Dorsey. The acquisition of talent is an amazing job. It's, it's outstanding to see the leadership that, that we have right now and the opportunity that's in front of us this year. A whole lot of field in front of the Lions receiver all the way down deep into into Brown's territory. The Lions will be set up as we come back from the two minute warning and build off of what they did last year. Like this discussion on my show with my partner all the time about if the Browns, you know, go eight and eight or nine and seven and don't make the playoffs. It's a disappointment. We're used to not winning any games here. In the